To the studio. We're back, we're up to number nine of the Oil Toba Challenge this month. My housemate here is helping me pick out my next prompt, and it's a doozy. Headless Floral Goddess. Thank you, Beardy. So, this one, it's kind of a funny one because it's actually based on this temporary tattoo I got off Beardy. Whilst the lockdowns have been happening and tattoo artists have been unable to work, this has been a really cool way he's been able to supplement his income, making these fab design, like temporary tattoos of his own flash designs. This girl's hot. So, in an attempt to not straight copy his work, I wanted to go in a completely different direction and create my own spin on a headless floral goddess. To be honest, I did struggle for a while, so what I ended up doing to figure out my composition was actually create a digital sketch. That is, I found a couple of photos that I really liked and then messed around with different opacities to merge them together. And that's how you can see the petals of the rose sort of end up intersecting with the model's face and body. And then just using a bit of imagination and some experimentation, I figured out a way to sort of give her a stump of a neck to make her head look like it had been clean removed from her body. I did go back and forth a lot of times on this one, but yeah, it was good because it's definitely not something I would paint normally. And that's kind of the whole point of this challenge, to expand what you normally paint, lose a bit of control and experiment. day 10 it's the weekend get a little bit more daylight a little bit more vitamin d and today we're going to be painting gauntlets and you know that's kind of convenient what a, what a really good prompt because just over here i have borrowed a pair of gauntlets <laughs> and as you might have guessed the person who suggested this prompt lent them to me so thank you so much <laughs> they are stunning and i borrowed them specifically to do some paintings of them granted i do want to do some studies of them on metal i do a lot of painting on aluminium which you can find in the info card or linked down below and i definitely think these would go amazingly on metal with the reflections but for now let's start on paper just got to make some room in the studio, as I always do, whenever I need to set something up. For some reason, every surface is covered with brushes and paint and God knows what else. But this one should be fun. I'd, I definitely want to integrate some colour into the gauntlet. As you can see, it's sort of reflecting the wood of the paint box, but I'm not really feeling the orange, so let's experiment a bit with this one.
so cool. This was actually very refreshing to paint something from life after a fair few from digital photos, so I really enjoyed that. And sort of leaving it rough and unfinished at the bottom I think is quite satisfying. We did add a few little gold flecks there at the end just to show the edges of the gauntlet and integrate in the gold leaf from the paper. Hey little friend. That little baby magpie keeps knocking on the window, it's so cute. Anyway, day 11, Glitter Garden. Everything's got a link this week, it's great. Glitter Garden is the world's first drag show musical spectacular for kids that's been lovingly crafted over the last year and just sold out its season in Wellington, New Zealand. Definitely check out the show at their website on screen. I just wish I could have been in New Zealand to see the show. And my wonderful prompt suggester is actually the costume director for the show. And rather than straight copy, again, I wanted to do my own spin, so I decided to paint two of my favorite costumes in their original form. That is the Poppy and the Bee. Treating almost each petal as an individual object that needs to be painted separately super helped. So if anyone else is struggling with some flowers, there were a few tips that I really took on board and really made me feel a lot better. Both photos are from Unsplash. Day 12, I'm home from work and my prompt is Mama, <coughs> wait, um, Alpaca. Yes, that definitely says alpaca. It does not say llama. They are different animals, as you can see here. But it is absolutely the prompt today is alpaca, 100%. And I didn't just change it because my auntie and uncle he owns an alpaca who is really cute and I have had this photo forever that I've wanted to paint. make up for the uh, coughing earlier. This is actually how I start a lot of my paintings now. Rather than 
drawing out an immaculate drawing, I like to just block in my basic darks so I can get a judge of where I want to plot the main part of the painting. In this one particularly, I wanted to focus on the face of the little alpaca and just sort of taper the neck down as it went. So it gives me a good idea of where to start. I definitely find with animal furs and hairs to block in all your darkest colours first so you can drag your lighter tones through the darker paint. It sort of picks up that colour and allows it to blend a little bit by sort of dragging through and that just helps give an impression of less stripey straight highlights. It, it allows it all to sort of homogenise a little bit and really look like light coming through the fur. So glad I still had this bright blue on my palette. It actually worked really really well as just this tiny halo around her head just to help separate her from the paper a bit. Um, with those dark browns and dark blacks of the fur everything was getting a bit too samey so the bright blue just brings her right forward which is really nice and gives a really nice tubey expression. Thank you so much for joining me this week. We're still trudging through. We're a third of the way through the whole challenge now, which has gone so fast. Please hit subscribe so you can keep seeing which ones come out. And yes, all the works will be for sale on October the 31st through my website. The best way to find out exactly when they're going on sale is to join my mailing list on lizgridley.com.au. Just scroll to the bottom. Thank you so much and have a great night. See ya.